Well, well, well. What a game, what a game, what a game, and what an upset by the Ravens. How the Ravens lose? How? How? Just how? I don't even understand it, but the Titans win, the Ravens lose. Upset of the year, most likely. The, the Ravens were the most hyped up team all season. Everybody thought they was going to win the Super Bowl, myself included. Everybody thought they was going to at least get to the Super Bowl, myself included. And they got beat by a sissy, and not just a regular every sissy. The Tennessee Titans. And I'm not saying the Titans are sorry. You know what I'm saying? Ryan Tannehill is a quarterback. And even though he has played good this year, he's still Ryan Tannehill. Uh, your best rookie, your best receiver is a rookie. Your your defensive line is good. Played great today, though. Don't get me wrong. Good. Your defense is good, but not great. Your offense is good, but not great. But you know who is great? Derrick Henry. And Derrick Henry was greater than great. Like, the dude has been on a tear. Like, dude has, like, a 1,000 yards in, like, seven games. And, like, third, he's the first player in NFL history to have 180 ga- yards. 180 yards for three games? Like, dude is crazy, like, going out of his mind insane. You know, and everybody, and, you know, Earl Thomas had a plan. He said he was going to stop. They said they were going to stop the run. And they just weren't able to do that. They said that the other team that they played were scared to tackle him. But they weren't able to tackle him either. The Titans O-line was able to provide the holes. Derrick Henry ran through him. And the Ravens player just couldn't get him down. I mean, he was just great. I mean, he even threw a touchdown pass for crying out loud. Like, how, like, <laughs> you can't, you just can't dismiss how great of a game and how great of a player he is. And even though he hasn't really had the workload or hasn't really played the way many has expected him to play these past three years, this fourth year, this contract year, the most important year, this is the year where he's proven that right now he should be in the discussion as one of the best running backs in the NFL. As he's having one of the best running back seasons that we have seen in a very long time. Just because he's carrying the team on his back, literally. And, like, the Titans barely throw the ball. And they're not forced to throw the ball. But they're able to get throws off of the play action. And they're able to get that passing game going. Because of people are just scared of Derrick Henry coming out of the backfield. And don't get me wrong, Tannehill be making some great plays and some great throws here and there. But it's not like he's going out there and he's going to throw in 30 and 40 times a game. And they're winning the game. They know their game plan. They stick to their game plan. And they beat you. And, it's, and that's what they've done the last two times. They've beaten you, and it's that simple. It's no other way to put it. They just have beaten everybody. They've beaten who they need to beat it using their game plan. And today was no different. You play who most consider the best team in the league, the people, the people that's supposed to be the Super Bowl favorites, and you just beat them. Like the shock of that is crazy. Like how do you just beat those guys? But they did it, you know. So props to them. But now let's talk about the Ravens. Fourteen and two. Best record in football, coming off of a year where not a lot of people expected them to be better than they was last year, myself included, but we expected them to be good. I always said that I felt like Lamar Jackson was the best quarterback out of that draft class. I said it when he got drafted 30. And when I said it, even a part of myself thought I was being stupid. Thought I was saying something out of just me being a Lamar Jackson fan and me really liking this game. Because I, I make Baker Mayfield was the better quarterback coming out of college. You know, the other guys, Rosen, like, they were better, you know, at the quarterback position. It's just that Lamar Jackson was just more electrifying, and he was more fun to watch. He So it just looked like he had to be the best. He was going to be the best, and I just made that assumption. And I turned out to be right. But today... It didn't happen. The Titans were able to spread the field and be like an annoying fly all in Lamar Jackson's face. Time and time, time and time again, they were just there, there, there. They would not leave him alone. He had no breath. He couldn't get away. They, he, they had him in their sights, and they got to him time and time again. And it's just crazy to me that they were able to do this. They played so well. They played the game plan so well. They was able to hit him, confuse him, and most importantly, take him out of his game frustrate him make him lose his composure which is a big thing for a quarterback because if you get frustrated and you start throwing making bad plays and making bad throws out of frustration it's only going to make things worse and things only got worse as he threw interceptions and he and it wasn't all his fault it was some plays like the mark andrews play where yeah he put it too high but mark wasn't able to grab it he wasn't able to go catch the ball and it was just times where it wasn't his fault you know his receivers just didn't catch the ball when they needed to at times even though 
though Marquise Brown did have a catch catch like a crazy amazing catch they just weren't able to do what they need to do to help their quarterback out and the team just didn't play that well you can you fault them for not playing that well yes because they're a great team but at the same time they're a young team so they're only going to get better they're only going to grow together and you're going to expect the Baltimore Ravens to come back next year with a vengeance and with a fight in them and with a dog but if you watch this game, you kind of have an idea of how can you beat this this team? And it's easy. Well, no, it's not easy. Let me not lie. It's not easy. But the biggest thing you want to be able to do is have sideline to sideline, great linebackers, fast linebackers, spread the field out, spread, have multiple corners. Like everybody got to be spread it out, spread the field, make it hard for Lamar Jackson to go anywhere. Keep him in the pocket, contain the quarterback, and make him beat you being a pocket passer and get pressure on the inside. And that's what the Titans did today. They made him be a pocket passer. They kept him in, they kept him in contain. He got off a couple of times for some really good runs, granted, but he was not able to get off like he's been getting off all season. They didn't let them start a run game. The run game was not there. He had to throw in the pocket, which he messed up on a couple of times. They was able to get pressure in the pocket when he had to step back. He didn't have a lot of time and they were everywhere and that's how you got to play against his team You have to be like an annoying gnat. You have to be in his face. You got to be around him You got to let him know that he can't go anywhere But in this pocket and even in this pocket you gonna have to move around because we're gonna come at you Our front four is gonna be better than your offensive line and that's how you got to beat this man and you know, so that's the game plan. And it's on to Lamar Jackson to become a better pocket quarterback and learn how to adjust to being a better pocket quarterback. Because when teams are going to play you like that, where they're going to play to the outside and they're going to try to contain you, if you're a great pocket quarterback, you can send that pocket in dark and just pick apart the entire offense and make it hard for them to stay in the pocket because eventually somebody's going to get open. And eventually they're going to be scared because if I lay off and I try to stop the run, he's going to kill us with the pass. And if I try to go for the pass, he's going to kill us with the run. That's how dangerous Lamar Jackson can be. And he has to work on that and get better at that. But they started on the right direction. They're going to get back at it next year. The Titans did their job. They pulled off the upset. They deserved the victory. And maybe, maybe this is just a remember the Titans type of year. Maybe this 9-17 that nobody thought was going to win. That nobody barely watches. Because I watch them because I'm, my, I'm in Tennessee. I live in Tennessee. And my brother's a Tennessee Titans fan. So I watch them. But most of y'all probably don't if you don't live in the city. Because they don't really come on television like that. They're a small market team but they are turning up right now they are showing what is they are showing the heart of a champion and they are playing their hearts out and they have taken out two of the biggest teams in the AFC but they still got work to do they still got two more games before they can really get that crown on top of their head so I'm interested to see what happens I know y'all are too and I can't wait for the game peace